Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today we've got issue number seven. I'm going to unpack it and we're also going to begin the Benjamin Bunny applique character square. But who is Benjamin Bunny and how does he relate to Peter Rabbit? issue number seven here let's have a look what's inside hmm. so we've got the issue guide number seven it has the Benjamin Bunny instructions for the character square and the applique. It also comes with these fabrics to make the Benjamin Bunny applique. There's the um, silver mink. Hmm. There's a cream. There's the scarlet. There's the brunette. Oh, teal, the pink, and white. And this is the cream spot. I don't know if you can see it, but it's sort of got silvery white spots on it. And I think I'm going to use this fabric. I do like the dots. Because I didn't use the Bonder web for when I made Tom Kitten, we made the PVA and paper method of applique. I do have a full piece of Bonder web to make this square. Our first step is to trace the template shapes from Benjamin Bunny onto the Bonder web using template number one. So which side of the bonder web do I use? One side is a shiny side and the other side has a bit of a webbing feel to it. We're going to draw on the shiny side. Benjamin Bunny applique looks a bit trickier than the others. There's a lot more irregular shapes and he looks a bit more detailed. I'm really going to take my time making this applique. So I've outlined Benjamin Bunny's pieces. They've also been numbered. Time to cut them out. Hmm, can you hear the cloppy nails? Henry! <sighs> Those cloppy nails belong to Henry. Say hello, Henry. So, from time to time, you're going to hear cloppy nails on the floor. This is Henry. So all the pieces are cut out. We're now going to look at the guide and match up the Bonder web pieces with the coloured applique pieces of fabric. So pieces number 11 and 10 are with the scarlet. 
So 11 and 10. are on the scarlet number 14 which is Benjamin's bunny hat is this teal this brown is 9 and 8 The white fabric is piece number 12, which is his tail. This colour here, uh, number 4, which are his paw. And number 3, which is his other paw. We've also got number 6, 1 and 2. So. One and two. And on the two cream pieces, we've got his body, which is number seven. So the pink is number 16 and 15, which is his ear. Our iron is hot, time to press the template bondo web pieces onto the fabric. All pressed, time to cut out. Hello again, Henry. Try to say hello. Ah, there he is again. Silly sausage. I've got some cutting out to do. The pieces are cut out. I'm now giving our backing fabric a bit of a press. Then I'm going to get the light box out and transfer the guidelines onto this fabric. When transferring the guidelines and using a light box, you don't need to have a fancy light box. This one was made at home by Martin. It's just a plastic tub, just a regular storage plastic tub. Inside it are a set of IKEA lights, which are controlled with this little remote control. Um, and then there's just a toughened, a toughened acrylic on the top, and it's been taped together. I've put a piece of white paper over the top. You can change the colours of the light box, but I find that the blue light works the best. In the guide, there are two templates. There's the template for tracing the outline onto your fabric and bondo web. Then there's the template number two at the back. This is the template you use to trace 
onto your backing fabric. So I'm going to place the template down. In fact, I'm going to remove it from the rest of the magazine, then face it down and grab my fabric. The first thing to do is to tape down the template so that it doesn't move. That's nice and secure. And because there are little dots on the fabric, I want the dots to run in a straight line and I'm going to adjust them on the template. Using the straight line around the pattern. To keep it in place, I'm also going to tape down the fabric. We don't want the dots running in a diagonal. Let's trace. He's been lightly traced out onto the fabric. The next step in this applique is to place the applique template pieces onto the fabric, matching up within the shapes. I'm using the guide which shows me where the numbers are and the pieces fit. I'm now going to place them down on the fabric. I've placed down all of the Benjamin Bunny applique pieces and they seem to fit quite nicely. The next step is to press them down. I'm going to start to iron on all of the applique pieces, starting at his feet and working the way up. Remember to remove the backing of your Bonder web before you start ironing. So here we have our Benjamin Bunny applique component of this character square done. I'm very happy with him. I actually thought he was a bit trickier before I did him, but I found him quite easy. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time in the craft room. Bye.
Thank you.